Call the meeting of the City Council to order for Monday evening, December 28, 2015. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good evening, Councils. Good evening, guests. Merry belated Christmas and a happy, healthy New Year to all of you. And appreciate everybody being here. Councilor Cruz. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, before we start tonight, it's uh, with a heavy heart, I'd like to ask for a uh, of personal privilege. Uh, we lost a former Ward 1 City Councilor and a former colleague of many people here, particularly uh, Councilor DiNapoli. I know Councilor Cassidy is here. Uh, Peter Marciano was a true Brocktonian, a real, uh, of course, represents a family that led us into being called the City of Champions, the Marciano family. And uh, when you met Peter and spent some time with him, you remembered it. All of us uh, that knew him, when you walked away, you, you knew you had seen somebody with a smile on his, ha uh, on his face and a, and a big heart. And uh, fought a very tough fight for the last many years. And uh, again, a, a true Brocktonian, a true champion. And uh, he may never have been the biggest guy in the football field, but he was always the toughest guy in the football field. And uh, we're going to miss him. Uh, the city will miss him. This ca council will miss him. And I'd like to ask for a moment of silence on his behalf. Mm -hmm. May he rest in peace as well. I also want to take a moment just to introduce our uh, new councillor, councillors that are in the audience this evening. Councillor elect, councillor Lodge, Winthrop Fowles in the audience this evening. Also the new council from Ward 6 coming in. Um, Mr. Lally is also here and Mr. Borgard, Council of Ward 5. We appreciate them for being here this evening with us. And Councillor Sullivan. Can I read it first? Yeah, yeah, we need to read the first. I'm sorry. My, my fault. We can begin. Please, Sorry, I'm stumbling a little bit. I got a little bit of a cold. Sorry about that. Oh. The appointment of Arthur McNulty to the rank of Sergeant in the Brockton Police Department. Mr. President. Council Sullivan. I want to uh, make a motion. I want to take this under special rules and act on this tonight due to the fact that this is the last official legislative session for this Second. year. Second. 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 Motion has been made and seconded. We suspend the rules and act on this this evening. All in favor of that? All opposed? So be it. Um, Roll call, Mr. Yes. 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 <laughs> Fails. Mr. President. I'm not doing so good for the last night, am I? <laughs> Sergeant McCarthy's here if he could uh, be recognized. Mr. President. Council Sullivan. I'm going to make a motion to take uh, agenda item two and three collectively. We're going to act on those suspension, under suspension rules and act on those tonight. Second. second. Motion has been made and second that we're going to uh, act on items two and three uh, collectively. Let's suspend the rules and act on them this evening. All in favor of that? Opposed? Mr. Clerk, please read the appointment. appointment of John R. Olson at 1015 okay. North Main Street as a constable of the city of Brockton for a term of three years. Reappointment of Catherine M. A. Schaff. Bridgewater is a constable of the city of Brockton for a term of three years. <coughs> Mr. Clark, would you please call the roll? Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stavinsky. Yes. 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 Eleven in the, the appointments have been confirmed. Council Sullivan. Motion for reconsideration hopes it does not prevail. Second. A motion for reconsideration hopes it does not prevail. All in favor of reconsideration? All opposed? Reconsideration fails. Who's going to do the late file on the fire? Uh, Councilor Stavinsky, you want to do the late file on the uh, fire? Yes, sir. Do it now. If I might, Mr. President, I move for a late file at this time. Second. Uh, in, in hopes that, that we can have it here tonight. Motion's been made and seconded to uh, accept the late file, and we're also going to suspend the rules and act on it this evening. Mr. Clerk? Okay. 
Bobbitt. We have the appointment of Johnny R. Bynes for the rank of firefighter in the Brockton Fire Department. Appointment of Robert J. Orkett for the rank of firefighter in the Brockton Fire Department. Joseph Thompson for the rank of firefighter in the Brockton Fire Department. Ryan E. Costa for the rank of firefighter in the Brockton Fire Department. Christopher Anderson for the rank of firefighter in the Brockton Fire Department. Zachary Davis to the rank of firefighter in the Brockton Fire Department. Francis Madden to the rank of firefighter in the Brockton Fire Department. President. Jordan. I, I move it. Oh, we have more. Five. Jordan F. Duguay to the rank of firefighter in the Brockton Fire Department. Christopher J. Capozzoli to the rank of firefighter in the Brockton Fire Department. Jonathan Colon to the rank of firefighter in the Brockton Fire Department. Brian E. McLean to the rank of firefighter in the Brockton Fire Department. Ryan J. O'Keefe to the rank of firefighter in the Brockton Fire Department. First of all, I'd like to you got there really well. And I'd like to move this under suspension of the rules. Second. 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 Motion has been made and seconded to suspend the rules and act on these appointments this evening. All in favor of that? Opposed? Mr. Clerk, the question now is on confirmation by a roll call vote. Please call the roll. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Matthew. Yes. 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 The uh, names have been confirmed. Mr. President, Council I, I'd like to move this stuff for reconsideration in hopes that it does not prevail. Thank you. Second. Second. Made and seconded for reconsideration in hopes <coughs> it does not prevail. All in favor of reconsideration? All opposed? Reconsideration fails. <coughs> Gentlemen, ladies, stand up. Congratulations to all of you, and I'm sure you'll do an outstanding job. Good luck to you as you go through the process. At this time, we're going to take a five-minute recess, then I can get on the right game. Okay. Council is back in order. Mr. Clerk, next item. Order the Real Estate Committee for its meeting of December 21st, 2015. Accepted and placed on file. Order the Finance Committee for its meeting of December 21, 2015. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Executive Director of uh, Perk. Furnishing the council with the amount to be appropriated for the retirement system for fiscal year 2017, which commences July 1, 2016, totaling $20,072,463. Accepted and placed on file. Mm -hmm. Communication from the Rockton Water Commission Chairman stating that at the December 14, 2015 meeting, Rockton Water Commission reviewed the letter of intent dated August 6, 2014, on the sale of Aquaria Desalinization Plant. Water Commission voted on a motion to approve that the Mayor, City Council, CFO, and the Water Commission to negotiate the sale and purchase agreement for the Aquaria desalinization. Accepted and placed on file. Communication mm -hmm. from the Mayor recommending that the City Council amend the order, which was first read in the City Council at its meeting of December 14, 2015, and is now on the agenda as item 8 for the Finance Committee of December 21, 2015 regarding the state's grant to renovate Keith Park. The amendment is necessary in order to comply with the state's request to fully commit <coughs> all sources of funding for the project. Both the state and city match at this time. The grant is for a total of $231,000, but the total project is for $330,000, with a balance of $90,000 made available by his decision for it to be provided over two years through the city's federal community development block Grant funding. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Order that the DPW Commission is authorized to grant a five foot wide used easement over a portion of Pearl Street in Brockton, Plymouth County, Massachusetts, for the use by an abutting property shown as Plot 91 on City of Brockton Assessor's Map 7, 1280 Belmont Street owned by Rock Meadow LLC, 1063 North <coughs> Street, Brockton, <coughs> Philip C. Nazarella, Jr., uh, manager, and council to <coughs> 14, 2015, 
Read and referred to the Committee on Real Estate. That report is favored. Thank you. Questions on adoption, but roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Yes. 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 The order is adopted. <coughs> order that the restriction at plot 301 Main Street parcel ID 105-016 valued at $1,430 shall be a non-buildable lot. In Council November 9, 2015, ready refer to the Standing Committee on Real Estate. That report is favorable as amended. Questions on the amendment? All in favor? Opposed? Amendment passes. Right now. It's going now. <coughs> Order in compliance with the provisions of the election laws, notice is hereby given that the presidential primary will be held on Tuesday, March 1st, 2016. In council, December 14, 2015. Refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Question on adoption by Mr. Clerk. Yes. 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 Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stavinsky. Yes. Yes. The order is adopted. An appropriation of $87,000 for the stabilization fund to the Board of Elections, personal services <coughs> other than overtime, 70000 personal services overtime, 2000 ordinary maintenance purchase of services, 15000 in order to fund extra costs for financing elections on February 2nd, 2016 and March 1st, 2016. In Council, December 14th, 2015, I'm refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Yes. 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 An appropriation of $6,098.66 for the Mass Association of Health Boards, Plymouth County Region 5 Emergency Coalition Grant Fund, the City of Brockton Board of Health Mass Medical Reserve Corps Grant Fund. Then Council, December 14, 2015. Refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Yes. 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 The order is adopted. An appropriation of $48,000 from ambulance receipts to fire department capital. In council, December 14, 2015, refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Barnes. Yes. 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 <clears throat> order that the mayor be authorized to execute a development agreement between the City of Brockton, <coughs> Ion the Ball LLC, a Delaware Limited Liability Company, having a usual place of business at Silversmith Park, uh, <coughs> Walford, Connecticut, for electronic advertising board. End council December 14, 2015. For the Committee on Finance, that report is favorable. <coughs> yes. Barnes. Yes. 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 Rodriguez. Yes. 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 The order is adopted. Mr. President, move for reconsideration. Hopes it doesn't prevail. Second. Motion is made and seconded for reconsideration. <coughs> Hopes it does not prevail. All in favor of reconsideration. All opposed. Reconsideration fails.
order that the Mayor Brockton be and is hereby authorized to file and accept grants from the Executive Office of Energy and Environmental Affairs, and two, that the Mayor Brockton be and is hereby authorized to take such other actions as are necessary to carry out the terms, purposes, and conditions of this grant to be administered by the Department of Planning and Economic Development, and three, that this resolution shall take effect upon passage. In Council, December 14, 2015, Refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable as amended. Question. The questions on the amendment, all in favor? Opposed? The amendment passes. Mr. Clerk. Yes. 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 The order is adopted. <clears throat> Mr. President, I motion for reconsideration in the hope that it does not prevail. Second. Second. Motion has been made. Second for reconsideration. Hopes it does not prevail. All in favor of reconsideration. All opposed. Reconsideration fails. Mr. President. Council do what? May I have a moment of personal privilege? Yes, you may. So as all of you in this chamber know and many of you at home know, tonight yes. is my last city council meeting. And um, my fellow exiting city councilors, um, Councilor Jay Stewart and Councilor Dennis DiNapoli, <coughs> who may have words themselves on their last meeting, yeah, have allowed yeah. ladies to go first. And I, I very much appreciate yeah, that. And I appreciate both of your hard service and work for the citizens of Brockton. So I'm honored to be here and have served 10 years on the city council, really fighting for residents' rights. It's really been my privilege and honor to be a public servant. And I'm even more so honored to be the state representative for not only the Ward 6 area, but uh, Ward 4, 5, 6, West Bridgewater, and East Broad Bridgewater. So I want to thank each and every member of this city council for serving with me and being wonderful colleagues and friends and com people to bounce ideas off of and agree with and not agree with and make change and stop bad projects and make the city a better place, which is what my goal is. And in each and every one of your own ways, it's what your goal is or you wouldn't be here all the time serving the city and really fighting for residents. So I'm honored to have served with all of you and I want to thank the city employees because without the city employees the city would really be in a real bad state. They do very hard work for very little pay and um, to a person I would say 99.9% .9 are really solid, hardworking, golden people as are the residents of Ward 6 who are rabble rousers and care about Little League and want single family homes and want a backyard where they can raise their kids and where the kids don't suffer from asthma and where they feel safe and they don't get picked on in school and that they have ed excellent education systems. So really Ward 6 is, um, as one of my colleagues on the council called it, is God's country. Right? So I feel <laughs> that way. And so thank you very much for allowing me to serve you and be all your colleagues. Thank you. Councillors, um, just before we move forward, um, there's some citations for our outgoing councillors. And the citations are based upon uh, the fact that uh, I, as council president and with the city clerk, just felt that over the years that uh, outgoing councillors didn't really receive any type of citation. And I felt that I wanted to start something a little different as an outgoing president as well. Hopefully, whoever the next outgoing president. As, as they depart, uh, you know, the building. So with that being said, and I apologize again for my voice uh, this evening, I'm going to have uh, our city clerk is going to read uh, what, they, what one says and he, they each, each say the same thing, and then I'm going to um, present them uh, to the councils when they come up. Mr. Clerk. Okay, we have a citation for <coughs> Councillor Dennis Dinopoli, Councillor Michelle Dubois, and Councillor Jay Stewart, City of Brockton, official citation.
Merci beaucoup. At this time, I will allow, I don't know if the, the dean wishes or Councilor Stewart, we'll let Councilor Stewart yeah, go Mr. first. President, sure thank you. you. Moment of personal Please rise, Councilor, go right ahead. You can, I think I, to your heart's content, keep talking. Well, I'll try to, I'll try to um, break my reputation of speaking too much. Um, <laughs> but I will say that very, it's a very personal moment for me, as you can imagine, um, starting my campaign for political office in 2004, when I was <laughs> much younger, uh, but hopefully still as idealistic. It's been just an amazing journey for me. Uh, a journey with a lot of learning, um, getting to know myself better, uh, hoping that I've made an impact on people's lives. Um, I think in life, all of it is about becoming a better person. And I've certainly been able to uh, enjoy becoming a better person, serving on this council and serving the city of Brockton. Um, I think about this work and my colleagues and though I can't point everyone out, I do want to mention a few of my colleagues who've had um, a real impact on my political, political career here on the City Council. Um, so I think of my colleague, uh, Councilor Brophy, who, his, uh, who retired um, a couple of terms ago, but I learned from him um, about the love of the institution. Uh, and that that love for the institution is important for it to survive and thrive. I think about my colleague, Councillor Petty, who we rarely agreed on anything. Um, <laughs> but he was always so incredibly respectful uh, and gracious. Uh, and never once did we or did he um, you know, act in any manner that was not <coughs> professional or becoming of this body. And so I learned a great deal from my experiences with him. Um, to my colleague, uh, Councilor Monahan, who we came on here together, I believe, but uh, we learned a lot together. And had, I've always had great admiration for your, your common sense uh, and bringing a real kind of, a real concrete perspective uh, to the work. And so I have watched you and uh, uh, appreciate what you bring to the council. Um, there's, there's so many of us here that I, I, um, I have to jump over some of us to some, two more highlights to, to Mr. Sudinsky. Uh, I sat next to you the, my first term, if you remember, and constantly leaned over to you because of your, your wisdom and asked your advice on lots of things and also to help me identify who in the heck was in the room at the time. Because you've been around forever, right? So you knew all the backstory. <laughs> of the people who came before us, um, who they were, who their children were, who their grandkids mm -hmm. are, and mm -hmm. so on and so forth. So, um, but I think you helped to ground me on uh, just the, the history of, of the place uh, and learned a lot from you from that first term, but also walking over wherever you happen to be uh, to get your advice again. And of course, you're in, it's sort of fitting that you're sitting next to me at the end of my term yeah. here where I can kind of wrap up those kind of conversations with you. Uh, and then to my colleague here to the left who is uh, so much more, you're s much wiser than I ever imagined. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let him fool but, you. Right. But um, a really smart gentleman with um, just a lot of wit uh, and um, your respect for all of the work has been something that I've picked up over the years and I appreciate that as well. Um, I can't leave without thanking my family for uh, their sacrifices, for making this possible for me. Um, and just l the idea that we can serve is something that um, we can easily forget how monumental a uh, gesture that is, that people will go and build confidence or place confidence in your representing their best interest. Uh, and I've always tried to sit back and remember that my role isn't to, um, I hate to use the word cower, but uh, to, to follow the, the, the inertia of the machine, whatever that 
machine may look like, whether it's special interest <coughs> groups or, but it's really to think about those individuals who go and place their trust in us and their trust in me and to make my decisions based on that trust. And uh, I hope that I've served people well. I certainly uh, believe that, um, you know, Brockton has made me a better person. I hope that I've made Brockton a better city. Thank you, Mr. President. You're welcome. Thank you. The Dean. Mr. President, over the personal privilege. Yes, you well, may, Councillor. Thank you. On, on Monday, I'll hand the reins over to you to be the Dean of the Council. Thank you, Councillor. But, uh, you know, I uh, try to get some ideas into my head what this is like, and I just came up with it just now. Everybody remembers their 16th birthday, 16 years, sweet 16. That's how many years I've served in this chamber and into the city, and it, it's been an honor and a privilege to serve. And uh, you know, I want to thank my, my, my family for support because without family support, uh, you, you can't go anywhere. And when I first told my wife that I wanted to run for council back in the year 1999, she said, you're crazy. But anyways, she gave, she gave me her love and the support and uh, 16 years later, uh, it, it's time to say goodbye. It's bittersweet. And I want to thank all the voters in Ward 5 who supported me over the last 16 years. And uh, you know, it's not easy running campaigns and it's not easy answering telephone calls. I got phone calls at five o'clock in the morning and I got phone calls at midnight. And uh, you know, you have to answer all the phone calls. And uh, my fellow counselors who I've served through the years, uh, you know, you guys and ladies have been uh, my colleagues for the last uh, four years, or two years for some, and four years and eight years, but, uh, you know, when I was first elected, I, uh, I was a new kid in the block, and uh, the three new kids in the block, I call them like the three musketeers, there was uh, Jerry Cassidy, who's sitting in the audience, and uh, Peter Marciano, we had a moment of science far earlier, and myself, and, uh, you know, we had counselors that were in this chamber for many, many years, uh, counselor, uh, uh, Mike Brady, who's now a state senator, he was, uh, I served with Michael, and I also served with the late Paul Sadinsky <coughs> and Peter Aziaf, who uh, were my mentors, and uh, you know, every time I saw Peter, he was the only one in the city who ever called me Denny. Denny, how you doing? I, you know, everybody calls me Denny, <laughs> but you know, I'll always, I'll always remember that, because you know, they were, they were, they were special. And uh, you know, well, you know, we're, it's time to move on. And uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to miss it. You know, it's uh, 16 years is a long time. But, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to retirement. And uh, it's, I'll say goodbye. And God bless. And uh, my fellow counselors and to the new counselors that are taking over, uh, do your homework, pay attention, and don't take it personal. Do not take this job personal. You have to move forward. And the other thing is serve the mayor you serve with the mayor, you're the boss over the mayor because you set the uh, presidents over the city of the finances, but without the mayor and without you, you can't move the city forward. And we want the city to move forward. There's a lot on the agenda next year that you, you know, ladies and gentlemen are gonna have to deal with. And I'll, I'll follow it in the paper. And uh, good luck, good night, and happy new year to everybody. See, when I came here, they didn't call me Denny. For whatever reason, they started to call me Dennis DiNapoli, and I could never figure that out. <laughs> they did get us mixed up a lot of times. I don't know how. The, the hairline was different, but in any case. We're both good looking, though. And, uh, there you go. But in any case, I, I do want to just stretch it. take a moment to, um, to mention, and I'll start with Councillor DiNapoli, because I've known Councillor DiNapoli and his, and his wife, Sue, for a good, good many years, and I knew him when he wasn't in the political process, and, and your wife was very active, and you were too at the Asheville um, School as a parent advisory council member when I was on the school committee. So I have so many, many years with, with Councillor DiNapoli and even had the great opportunity to serve him under him as the school committee member and he was the city councillor. And uh, Dennis always, always as, as the others did as well, always acted in the best interest of the people that elect you and, and he, he always did that. 
Michelle did the same thing, and Jace, you did the same thing, and uh, I think you should be proud of yourself for coming to the council as, um, as probably, and, and I'm not trying to be rude in saying it, but as more or less as our first minority to be here on the city council, and, and I think people looked at that and were very proud to have you here. And you did So I just want to take time to wish you all the very, very best, and I hope uh, that you'll come back and visit with us. If not, you can uh, turn on Channel 12 and you can watch us, you know, a little <laughs> different. But in any case, I, I do want to take, uh, take that moment to uh, say uh, thank you on behalf of the City of Brockton, on behalf of the City Council. <laughs> um, we appreciate all that you did for your people. We also have with us this evening uh, state delegation, have some citations, our State Senator Michael Brady, our State Representative uh, Colin Cronin is here as well. If they want to come up, I don't know how they Susan, want to divvy up what they, what they have, but they have some citations. And I also may, wanted to make mention to former city council from Ward 3, Jerry Cassidy is here in the audience and appreciate him being here as well this evening. Good Thank evening. You, Mr. President. I know you're, you're never far from words, so. <laughs> <laughs> I, I learned very early in life that to be a gentleman, ladies go first, so ladies before gentlemen. So I'm going to let my good friend and colleague and a, and a great Very good. advocate on behalf of our district representative, Claire Cronin, is going to read the citation. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Mr. President. You're welcome. Uh, um, the first citation is for State Representative and City Councilor Michelle Dubois. Yeah, right, Michelle. Thank you. <laughs> and we've announced her as first so she can join us with the others. Uh, so this is from the House of Representatives and it says, be it hereby known to all that the Massachusetts <laughs> House of Representatives offers its sincerest congratulations to Michelle Dubois in recognition of your dedication and commitment to the City of Brockton and for your service on the Brockton City Council. The entire membership extends its very best wishes and expresses the hope for future good fortune and continued success <coughs> in all endeavors. Uh, and it is signed by our State Senator Michael Brady, myself, Claire Cronin, and Speaker of the House, Robert DeLeo. Thank you. So I, I love being part of the delegation as a state representative now, and I appreciate this, and I realize that I made the biggest mistake of not thanking my family and my husband Adam for these last 10 years on the City Council because without him and my mom and my sisters and my nieces and nephew and everybody, I really couldn't do it. So thank you. And next we have Councillor Jay Stewart. Be it hereby known to all that the Massachusetts House of Representatives offers its sincerest congratulations to Jay Stewart in recognition of your dedication and commitment to the City of Brockton and for your service on the Brockton City Council. Uh, once again, the entire membership extends its very good wishes and expresses hope for future good fortune and continued success in all endeavors. And that is signed by State Senator Michael Brady, State Representative Michelle Dubois, myself, and Speaker of the House Robert DeLeo. Thank you. All right. So it's my honor as a State Representative and as his colleague to read Dennis DiNapoli's citation. The Commonwealth of Massachusetts, the House of Representatives, be it hereby known to all that the Massachusetts House of Representatives offers its sincerest congratulations to Dennis DiNapoli in recognition to your de of your dedication and commitment to the City of Brockton and for your service in the Brockton City Council. The entire mem membership extends its very best wishes and expresses the hope for future good fortune and continued success in all endeavors. And it's signed today by myself, Representative Claire Cronin, State, Rep State Senator Mike Michael Brady, um, Robert DeLeo, and I've been so honored to serve with you. Thank you. you know, what, what can I say? We, 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 we thank you. And I, 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 the only citation I ever received before was from the police department. This is really <laughs> th Thank you very much. <laughs> 
And I wish all the councils moving on the best of luck. Uh, we have one for you, Mr. President, if you wouldn't mind joining us. Really? Serving as our president of the Brockton City Council, which I had the privilege and honor to serve at one point, and I know you're going to be electing a new president this, tonight, but uh, this is for your dedication, for your leadership and dedication as president of the City Council, and it's signed by the whole state delegation. Thank you for your service. Thank you to all the city councils serving our city because without all of you here, our city wouldn't be the city of champions as well. And I wish everybody out there a happy and healthy new year. God bless. Thank you. Thank you, councils, and thank you, our state senator and, and our state representatives for uh, being a part of this process this evening as well. And just uh, before we do depart, uh, because we're going to be going into uh, caucus and, and election of a president just in a few minutes. Just remind everybody that next Monday, January 4th, is Inauguration Day. I'm sure you've uh, been with the city clerk the last few days and you've got everything organized the way that he wanted it done in regards to uh, uh, the, the meal and everything. So just, just make sure that um, you're here next Monday by at least 9.30 in the morning because everything begins at uh, 10 o'clock a.m. sharp. So it'll be right here in the chamber. So that's just a reminder for next week. Any other councils have anything to... Uh, Anything else, Councilor Sullivan? Or? President, if I could, I, uh, on behalf of my colleagues in the council, I want to thank you, Dennis, for your leadership, uh, your professionalism, and your uh, really your, your, your tried and true dedication to the city of Champion, city of Brockton, and your residence of Ward 3, but in your capacity as Council President this year. We thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Council, for those uh, nice, kind words, and thank you, Councilors, for, for standing. I appreciate it, and uh, it's been a great, it's been a great run. It's been a great year. It's been a fast year when you think about it. It, uh, it really did go fast, and, and I think we all worked well together. I thank you for your support. I look forward as we move forward. There'll be a new president that'll be standing here um, next week, and I look forward to working with uh, new councilors, especially one of which who I've known for a good, good many years. Uh, even when he was on the school committee with me, and he served as mayor, we served together. I think we got a, uh, a great group, and uh, we're going to have some difficult times. It's not going to be easy, but I think, I think we'll be able to get through it. So with that being said, I, I say thank you to, to that. I appreciate it very, very much. Uh, again, we're going to be going into caucus, um, and uh, we're not going to be coming back out. I want to remind the new councils they come in to join us for the caucus, and at that point in time, we'll be um, uh, nominating our new president. Any other business to come before? Yeah, and the out outgoing councils are welcome as well. Any other business to come before this council this evening? Shall I hit it hard or soft? Hit it. Meeting <laughs>